Right, a couple of exercises for you to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand nice and straight and we're gonna sit the shoulder. We're gonna practice sitting the shoulder. So a nice way is bunny goes over the hill. So you're gonna so you lift it up, bunny, and over. So it's set. You don't want to squeeze your back together and contract those muscles. That's not setting it. Hey, That's aggravating it. You just want to bunny hops over and set. You'll find that that elbow will kind of go out, which is perfectly normal. And you could just relax it and practice setting it. And that will stimulate all those muscles and the little guys inside to do their job, which you've probably forgotten. Once we've got the setting on the shoulder right, so do like 10 of those, 20 of those. Next thing is we're gonna just do slow side lateral raises. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna hold our shoulder muscles in the shoulder blade and the lats. We're gonna try and keep them nice and still as we slowly lift up our arm. And we're gonna hold it, keep the shoulder set and slowly bring it down. You'll find that you might only be able to just get it up halfway and just bring it out and that's fine. As long as everything stays nice, nice and still here. You can do set up and do slow, front raise it slowly up. Try and get it as high as you can without that back moving and those lats moving and bring it slowly down. Do about five or ten of each. Lateral and front. And then just to get a bit of mobility, we can lift it up. Just take that right hand and slowly press back. Just to stretch it out. If we can get a bit of mobility back, hold ten. Release. Hold for another ten. And release. We can just grab a towel. Towels are fantastic. So we're gonna take our towel in our left hand and we're gonna do some rotations, external and internal rotations. So we're gonna set our shoulder. So these rotations we want to be using the shoulder joints, not the arm. It's just our shoulder that's moving this. And our elbow. Okay, so you can take a towel. Or a stretchy band, the towel works perfectly fine. You're going to put your elbow, tuck it into your side. Because remember, we don't want the arm doing this. We want just the elbow and the shoulder moving. Okay, we're then going to put a little bit of resistance with our right hand. Keep the left hand tucked in. And you're slowly going to pull your right hand towel across. And then come back. Pull. Very important that we don't use the arms, so keep that elbow and my eyes and tuck to the side. And you're gonna pull a little bit of resistance on the right hand. Do about ten of those, three sets through to four sets each, and you're gonna switch over and do the right arm just to keep everybody nice and happy. A little resistance with the left hand again, tuck that elbow in and pull along. And as you can see, my right hand is a lot stronger with external rotations than my left hand. And I'm just going to keep going back, come forward. You'll feel it kind of in the back of your shoulder and a little bit in front of your shoulder. That's where you want it to be. Internal going in. You can either ask somebody to hold it for you, or you can kind of awkwardly tuck your elbow in, hold. From that end, keep it nice and straight. And the same thing, with a bit of resistance from that other end. Pull it in. Go back here. Keep that other one tucked in. Nice and slow. Okay, once you've done about 10 of those, you're gonna switch hands. Remember, we wanna keep those wrists nice and straight and locked. We don't want them. Flapping in and out. So we're going to do the same with the right hand. Lock that wrist. Put a little bit of tension with the left hand. Tuck that elbow in, nice and tall, and rotate internally. Okay, you should again 
feel it in that shoulder. Next one, so much fun, is raises, front arm raises, we're going to sit the shoulders, so relaxed, sit, slowly lift up, and hands about a shoulder width apart on the top, we're going to slowly raise up, hold in the shape of the shoulders, and down, hold that set shape, right up. And down. Um, you'll find it will really kind of work. Trap okay. region, just the back here. Yeah. Wire raises you can use from the wall or the door. You can start with wire raises. You're going to start with your arm and elbow on the wall. Pretty much parallel, smash perpendicular to your shoulder. And it's going to be about shoulder width apart. We're going to set our shoulders back and okay, get shoulders back and slowly, thumbs are going to be facing up and slowly in a Y shape, going to move up to the top of the wall. When you get to like a Y and your shoulders or your elbows are by the lock, you're going to lift and you hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, back down, and with set shoulders, this is all with set shoulders, slowly move it back into our starting position. You'll feel that on top of the shoulders and in the lat specifically. You may find lifting it might be a bit tight into the shoulder joint and it's up here. So just practice getting it up into that Y. And you don't have to lift, you can come back down. When you're comfortable, you can lift. There's a spider walk up the wall, I don't know the name of it. So it's the same starting position as the wire raises. You're going to be shoulder width apart, perpendicular or parallel, it's perpendicular to the wall. We're going to set our shoulders back, and you're going to slowly reset shoulders. Climb up the wall and climb back down. So for that round, I lead with this arm. So I'm going to lead with my left arm. And we're going to go back down the wall. Try and keep your elbows kind of going straight. You don't want them going out or in. You want to keep your arms nice and straight. Okay, that one will kill the good old traps. If you've got a band, you can wrap it around and put a bit of resistance holding. That's a real killer. Yeah, start with those ones, see how you feel. Happy days.